to talk about is the promised time is at hand. I didn't bring the scripture down with me, so I can't read it right now. But when you go to Sunday school, I want you to read it. But the main message that comes out of that scripture and others is that when it comes to the promise that God was going to send his son into the world, the world, and especially Jews, Jewish people, had been waiting for a long time. I need a volunteer who can do numbering for me. I want you to be able, we're going to start with one. It's already there. The bottom of the page is 21. Then 22 starts at the top. So I want you to fill in all the numbers that follow after that. You're going to do it for me? Okay, why don't you stand over there and write it down. While you're writing, you'll be listening. Can you do that at the same time? All right. What's this? Yes, a tree. a tree. But it's bare. Do you have a family tree at home? The, yes, you do. And so what does that family tree do? Can't quite remember. A family tree is a tree that's listed and shows the way that the family grew. So that in this family, here's what's happening. God said, I'm going to send my son. And as he does that, it begins way long ago with a man named Abraham. You ever heard of Abraham? No, not Abraham Lincoln. Thank you for thinking of him, but not Abraham Lincoln. Abraham in the Bible was a man that God selected and said, in you, I'm going to start my family. So from Abraham all the way through to Jesus, we start counting the generations that followed. Thank you very much. The generations that followed after Abraham came into existence, we want to see that every generation... We're waiting for the promise of God's Son. Now, excellent work. It took time to write those numbers. 42 generations is what I really wanted to get across. That it took 42 generations to get to the point where Jesus finally showed up. Is that a long time? How long is a generation? Anybody know? Guessing, yes. How long do you think it is? I think it's like five years. Five years. Nope, not quite. Ten years. Not ten years. One more guess. No, not 80. About 25 years. 25 years, 25 to 27 years is a generation. So I am 67 years old. So at this point, I'm almost two generations, three generations. Because in seven years, eight years, I'm going to be 75. So that would mean three lifetimes. Okay? It took... 42 generations for Jesus to show up, starting with Abraham, we have the whole family listed until the point where we get to Jesus, and he ends up being born. So what's that got to do with you? Remember the theme, a long, the promised time is at hand. The promise of Jesus coming was at hand. So all the years the Jews are waiting, 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 
When is this Jesus going to come? And by the time he came, many of them forgot that he was coming and they didn't believe that he was Jesus Christ. And now Advent is about our hope for the time when Jesus will return. And so we're waiting and we're waiting. But the Lord didn't tell us how many generations would pass. So we don't know when Jesus is coming back. But we need to remain patient while we're waiting. And while we're waiting, maintain our faith, our belief that God said that his son was going to come. He did come the first time. He told us that he was going to die. He did die. He told us that he was going to rise from the dead. He did rise from the dead. And he told us that he's coming back again. He hasn't come yet. Keep waiting. Got it? Let's pray. Eternal Lord our God, we thank you for our children.